Okay, part two of recommended apps for the G1. Uh, I'm currently, just so everyone's clear, I'm running the uh, Cupcake Update 1.5 firmware, which most of you should have by now. So um, some of these may not work on pre-Cupcake versions, and some of them may, they just may, okay? Uh, last one I talked about was Chomp SMS, so the next one is called G-Docs. This one's really neat because um, it allows you to view, create, edit and share Google Documents right on your phone. Um, I like it because I do a lot of Google Doc work. You know, I'll just type something up, put it on there, have a lot of friends look at it. Um, we can, you know, view our folders. Basically anything that you have in your actual Gmail account, you'll see on here, which is really cool. You know, my friends and I did a trip to Las Vegas uh, a couple months ago, and we had everything Google Doc just so everyone can see it online. So you just go to add documents, create document, blah, 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 do your thing, good to go, and you just start typing away. It, it only works, um, from what I've seen, it only utilizes the um, document, the Word documents. I don't think it, it, I think it can view spreadsheets on here. I remember seeing that before, but uh, I don't know about creating that. I haven't had a chance to play with it too much because my uh, Gmail password just got rejected or something, so i got to look into that. Okay, next one is Missed Call. Well, there we go. Missed Call, this guy right here. Um, this one is, you know, nothing too serious. It's just a little simple app that lets you customize uh, notification length uh, in terms of LED, uh, blinking, uh, duration, uh, let's see what else, ring, stuff like that, volume. It's kind of neat. You can set individual ring volume for some of these different services. Um, the main major feature, though, is changing the LED light for some of this different things. So like call service, you select that. You can turn off or on the notification in the first place. You can select the light. You can see there's different, there's all kinds of different colors. I'm not sure if we knew about this in the past. But um, in addition to selecting the color, you can select how fast, how slow, the inter interval. So it's pretty neat. Um, like I said, there's not a whole lot to it. That's all it really does is just notifications. But it's pretty cool because I like to customize my things, and I'm sure many of us do, so it might be something worth looking into. Okay, this SMS pop-up is the next one I want to talk about, and this one I just discovered today, actually, and was kind of the whole reason I wanted to um, do this video. But this is really freaking cool, i got to say. Um, basically, instead of having your text messages pop up in this little notification bar, you can instead have it pop up on screen, which is really neat. Um, I'm going to type myself a message and see if this works out. But uh, basically, what it does is, if you're coming back from sleep mode, it'll, oh my god, I don't even remember my cell phone number. There we go, okay. So if you're coming back from, you know, sleep mode, if you turn your phone on, do your little pattern and whatnot, your message will pop up with the person's face, and it'll have the message in front of it. So it's kind of neat. Um, I don't know if any other phone has that, so I don't know if it emulates any type of other system. Let's see if it works on here. It's trying to send. Okay, if it does send, I will be, be sure to show you. But that's really um, the main thing about it. Um, I, if you do get that app, I strongly recommend that you disable a uh, notification for your other messages on here. Um, okay, so I got the message in my notification bar, so it obviously didn't work. That was a bunch of baloney. But um, anyways, it's, sh it's supposed to show up um, up front. I think right now it's only set up to work when it comes back from sleep mode, so that may be what, why my issue is uh, showing up. But uh, it's pretty cool. Trust me, it works. Um, it's another one of those apps. There's a pre-cupcake and a post-cupcake, so be sure you get the right one. It's really cool. Like I said, I like it. Um, it just makes things a little bit easier because instead of turning my phone on, going through the whole, you know, visual pattern, dropping the notification bar, opening my text messaging program, and then viewing my message. It just says, hey, there you are, and then it says cancel, close, uh, delete, and reply right away. So it's pretty neat. Just um, really more um, making your life easier. Okay, this next one is called uh, Join Messenger. It's the little black envelope thing right here. Now this one allows you to send and receive text messages on your computer. It's pretty cool. You go to droidmessenger.com and um, once you turn the service on your phone and activate it and get an account set up and all that stuff, you can be 
on your computer sending messages and receiving messages and it works the same way it just it you know it logs in through your cell phone number um, and it works through SMS messages so I believe it bills your account depending on what kind of account you have um, like I mentioned earlier I have the unlimited one so it doesn't affect me much but if you pay per message it might you might have to look into that a little bit further but I like this because I work at a radio station and we're surrounded by concrete walls so you know, I'll be I'll get in at nine o'clock in the morning. I'll leave at three o'clock, and then all of a sudden my phone's flooded with emails and messages and stuff. And you know, it's like, hey, you want to do anything? And this is stuff sent by my friends at eleven o'clock that morning. So it's useful because, like I said, I can send and receive those messages at my computer. I can easy, easily type them up. Um, I don't recommend it for everybody. Um, if you're sitting at a computer office all day and you don't want your phone going off, it's a good recommendation. Just you know, tab it on Firefox or something and get away with it, but like I said, if you don't have any perception in your office, that's a great way to go, and uh, I highly recommend it in that case. Next one is called Toggle Settings. It's this uh, little guy right here. Oops, water bottles. Looks like I was almost about to spill on my computer. That's uh, no bueno. Okay, so the Toggle Settings is just a very simple turn off and on uh, separate settings for your phone. There are many different apps like this on the Android market, but I found this one to be the best working and the mo just easiest thing to go. You can see you have airplane mode, you got your auto sync, you got your Bluetooth, everything. All you got to do is just hit bloop, click it once, and you're good to go. Uh, depending on what it is that you're turning on, it might take you to a separate menu so you can turn some certain things on. For instance, when I went to GPS, it went to a couple different things like wireless networks, enabled GPS, all that good stuff. But uh, you can see like the Bluetooth, we just enabled that, we hit that once, and boom, we turn it off. And there's a couple of different apps out there that allow you to do each one of these individually. Uh, but I la I'd rather have them all at once because it just makes more sense. It also um, allows you to control ring, ring mode, ring vibrate, ring volume. You can change from 3G to 2G settings or just go off Wi-Fi. You can also turn your timeout screen mode, and there's also the uh, screen brightness. You can adjust that on here. And there's also, um, I haven't, there's a way to actually get different profiles set up, basically saying that, um, you know, you can turn off and on, like, office setting, home setting, and it'll just adjust everything depending on what you set it. But I, have, I haven't had much luck working on that, so when I do, I'll... I don't know. I'll be happier, I guess. <laughs> if you guys do, let me know uh, how it works. I, would, I am interested in seeing how that goes. Okay, we're running out of time yet again. Uh, I only have a couple more apps to go. Part 3 coming up. Stop, you bastard.